Welcome. You're listening to the Bulldog Educator Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. Thank you so much for listening. Music created for the Bulldog Educator is by David Galvez. Podcast platform is through anchor.fm. Welcome to another podcast episode of the Bulldog Educator. We are with episode 11, season one, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about impact and determination. Right now, there are a lot of us educators um, that are working really hard, and we're running on a lot of determination to make sure our students get a great education and all their other needs are being met as well. We are a profession of people who don't give up. I would also note that there are a lot of people in our path of our own lives that showed us determination um, and didn't give up on us um, that was directed at us as well. And that all came to my thoughts and my reflections when I was listening the other day to the latest um, podcast, um, Innovators Mindset podcast that's hosted by George Kuros. And he had with him a guest, Megan Lawson. And in her intro um, of how she became a teacher, administrator, and blogger, it struck a code with chord with me. I had no question that she was full of determination. But that's not really how she told her story. How she told her story of her journey of becoming an educator was all about impact the impact of others on her life, how the pouring into her life through her work, through word and deed moved her toward certain decisions, including becoming an administrator. And at one point, she even talked about the impact that George Kuros had made on her that led her to blog. We'll talk more about this after a few words. So we're talking about impact and determination, and we had talked about how when Megan told her story, she was talking about um, her story of becoming an educator, not based on how hard she worked or the determination that she showed, but the impact that others had on her. Um, And that story struck me at that moment that sometimes one may be too focused on where they want to go and the determination to get there that they somehow miss the people who had an impact on them getting to the point of decision. And that one person may be, or it is, myself. There has been this part of me that had somehow told myself I had to do it alone and through sheer determination. And I had to do it through original ideas and thinking. And that was another part of the podcast that struck with me that was discussed by George Kuros and Megan Lawson. And it was about being um, the dispenser of information, um, but not necessarily being the originator of it and sharing by giving credit to others, the amazing ideas of others and how sharing that information about other amazing ideas had an impact. So I have a few thoughts about this. Number one, don't ever let your determination diminish the impact others have had on you to feed the energy of that determination. Number two, you can be good on your own. But why, when you can be awesome with others and share their ideas and elevate them by recognizing their genius and in turn, they will know that they have an impact. Number three, impact focus in regards to reflective practice is always going to win over the measure of your determination. There have been many times my determination has brought success and that there have been many times in spite of my determination, I have not arrived where I hoped I would be. When I focused on the determination, it determined or dictated my content contentment. However, when I focused on the impact made on me in the journey, regardless of the outcome, um, I remained content in myself and those around me. 
I really want to be more like educators like George Kuros and Megan Lawson, where the story of their journey isn't the determination they as a person put forth, which I have no doubt both of them are extremely determined educators. Rather, their story is in the impact others made and are making on them as people and as a collective body of educators impacting the lives of students. So I leave you with this challenge, and this is actually a challenge for myself as well. I know you are determined for your students. I know you are working incredibly hard. What I ask is that you and me both switch from it being um, a focus on how, how hard you're working to a focus on the small ways through your words, your time, your heart, your minute by minute making an impact on your students and colleagues. At the end of the day, think who has made an impact on me and who have I made an impact on? Determination, well, it's a given. I know that we're all determined to do the very, very best we can do for our students. What I challenge you is to focus on the impact. And what I wanna tell you right now is thank you for the impact you are making on myself, other educators, and most of all, students. This is Kirsten Wilson with the Bulldog Educator Podcast, signing off. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Bulldog Educator, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. You can find the Bulldog Educator on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handle at the Bulldog EDU. That's at the Bulldog EDU. You can also find us and content related to education and this podcast on our blog at thebulldogedu.org.